A theologian resigns from a U.S. Bishops' Conference committee after publishing a letter to Pope Francis asking the Holy Father to correct the, quote, chronic confusion of his pontificate. The USCCB says Father Thomas Winandi has resigned effective immediately. Joining us now in studio, not from the Vatican, is Edward Penton, our Rome correspondent for the National Catholic Register. Great to have you on set. Great to be back. With you. What do you think about this Winandi controversy? Why did he write the letter, and why did the U.S. bishops react the way they did? Well, it's an interesting story why he wrote it, because he said uh, he's, he'd had these concerns for a long time, concerns which he says are shared by many people. Um, about this pontificate and and the con what he calls the chronic confusion that he says is being caused, and he he places that at the feet of the Holy Father. Um, but he said that he felt he wanted to write this letter. He sent it uh, to the Pope at the end of July. Um, he said he had a, a sign from God to say that he should send it, and and he decided to make it public on All Saints. And the bishop said. Sorry, Bishop's Conference said, you're sorry, we do not want you to be working for the conference anymore. That's right. I mean, he was head of the doctrinal committee on the Bishop's Conference. He's still a he was still a consultant to them. Um, but they said that th there must be a strong sense of unity and, and, uh, and loyalty to the Pope. And they felt that he couldn't um, stay on, on the committee if having written this letter. Has the Pope said anything about this? He hasn't, but they did acknowledge receiving the letter, and they said the letter had been placed in his hands, so he has read it. Um, but he, been but no he didn't response. weigh in on any of this controversy no. yet. Let's move to another topic we just talked about. In India, there's a lack of space for uh, burying Christians, and they're choosing cremation. The church says it okay, but is it? Well, it has been okay, but it's not, it's not the preferred uh, way of, of um, burial or the end of life. The, what they prefer is that uh, there's burial because... The, the 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 temple the body is the temple and they and the Vatican has always uh, said you know as we're born in the image and likeness of God that cremation is not the best way but because there's been this growing demand for cremation they've they've gradually allowed it uh, in certain circumstances and they have generally allowed it since, since the 60s but there are rules around it aren't there yes and in fact they put out a document last year saying that they you're not supposed to, you're not allowed to scatter ashes at sea, you're not allowed to keep ashes in an urn, um, but you are allowed to, to be cremated if you... If you and put them in a mausoleum or bury them or do exactly. something like that. Yes. Finally, I want to show you some great video. You missed it, I think, because you were here in the U.S. and not in Rome. It's the annual All Saints race that took place yesterday. The start was at St. Peter's Basilica, and the course took runners throughout the Eternal City. And it was really promoting a good cause. It's been around for several years. Tell us about that. Yes, I think this is the 10th race. They have several different races at the Vatican like this, but this one was particularly uh, for... Uh, bringing awareness of child brides, especially in India. There's something like 47% uh, of, of uh, young girls are forced to marry under the age of 18, which is a large number, and, they, and it causes all sorts half. of problems. Yeah. yeah, psychological problems and all sorts of things. So they're, they're keen to... It's a Don Bosco Salesian charity that's, uh, that's uh, in charge of this. And, and so they raise money through this race. And they raise money mm -hmm. for this, through this race and awareness, yes. Okay, so we're not letting you go back to Rome. You're going to stay here. I have an office for you, and you're going <laughs> to stay with us Quite because your British stay. accent is just so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Something at least. <laughs> okay. Ed Fenton, thank you so much. Correspondent with the National Catholic Register. Thank you.